Honestly. Yeah. You... And I feel like it's a big like time waster. Yeah. The longer I try and find out, the further back I'll go. That I want to get set on some sort of path, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think you're really having the you're on the right track there. Absolutely. Like if you're not making a decision now, then it's just going to keep going because it's just a pattern like, oh, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. And people do that to themselves for years. And it's almost yeah. better to build something that's not 100% right for you because you will learn more from that and have more fun doing that than you ever would like looking for the right thing. So yeah, I, yeah, I mean, so it's interesting that the things that you're between, I think obviously, you know, dance is something that you're great at. And building that, I don't think it would, would be that hard for you because you have a skill. And when you have a skill like myself, I have a skill of speaking. I built it and I kept yeah. practicing. I got good at it. So then now when I share it, people like people that are good at something. So they like listening to me, right? And in the same way, I think if you did dance, like if people get to see what you do, then sharing that and then kind of like letting that be the introduction for them to want to work with you, it could be really powerful. Like. You've probably seen a lot of videos online. I'm guessing you consume this yourself, like dance videos and stuff, since you're into it, yeah. right? Since I've been young, I started, I, I've been a dancer since I was young, but I really got passionate about it when I started watching other people do it well. Yeah. And that's what made me want to do it better. Exactly. Same here. I watched other motivational speakers. I was like, man, I want to do that. You know, let me do that. And so that what you need to do is you need to go from the one being behind the screen to being the one on the screen. I mean, once you build a little bit of an audience, it would just be, hey, would you like to learn dance from me? Like this, this is what I do. Hey, would you, would you? Ah. And it would be such a natural transition. In your case, like you have so much talent if you've been doing this for so long and you're so into it. There's so many people that want to learn. And yeah, you just have to put yourself out there. The first thing is getting over the fear of like people judging. And once you get moving, if you just make a commitment and you say every day or once a week or whatever you commit to, once you're with that, it just becomes a part of your life. Now it doesn't feel weird anymore, right? At first it's gonna feel so awkward, but once you do it, don't even judge yourself for the first month. Just allow yourself to be bad at it. Just let yourself like totally mess it up. But after about a month then you'll be like, wow, I got, you know, I've done this consistently for 30 days. Now you're going to be like, wow, I'm actually, this is part of who I am now. It's normal. And now it's not that hard to keep yeah. doing it. It's that first, it's like they say always like with airplanes, getting them in the air takes the most fuel. It's the most dangerous. Once you're in the air, it's easy. Yeah, that's so it, very true. It's the same with us too. It's like initial startup phase, scary, terrifying. But once you get going, you're gonna feel like, oh, why didn't I do this before? This is so silly. Why was I so scared, right? No, but it's it's the same thing. Like you're gonna get over that in no time once you just get moving. So it's that paralyzation is an overthinking. And when you spend time thinking like, how's this gonna look? What's this gonna do? Spend all that time just doing it instead. And your life is instantly changed. Like just start, even if it's terrible, even if nobody cares, even if, you know, just do it anyway and do it for yourself. Like. The main point to do this is so that you grow, right? Because this will be for the rest yeah. of your life. You will gain confidence. This is going to build you up like nothing else. I mean, it'll build, you know, thick skin, all those things. Like you'll have to develop that in order to be able to sustain this. So it's not doing it for what you get. It's doing it for the person you become. That's the biggest payoff. Yes, it's cool that you can build a business. Yes, it's cool that you can make money. Yes, it's cool that you can teach people how to dance and, you know, make an impact on people and change their life and, and add some value to them. That's amazing. Love that. But the biggest thing is you're going to become somebody who is able to do those things. And that's like the best version of you, right? That's you at your best where you're just like teaching and sharing something that you're so passionate about. If yeah, you, definitely. Yeah, like it's like making the most of you. That's why I like the entertainment side and events management and things like that as well. Mm. I like a wide, wide range of things. I love that. And you can use all of that. I mean, you can do events where you teach a class for free and then, you know, you rent a space and then a percentage of those people are going to be like, this is amazing. And you say, you want to get more from me? Awesome. Sign up here, you know, like you captured their payment and now you take them on like a course for the next 12 weeks. And they show up every week and you teach them, right? So for a lot of people, they get confused with business. They think it's like some crazy management system where you have to try to process clients and do all this crazy. It's not like that. I mean, literally you go hold a free class or a workshop or whatever you want to call it. 
and you pay for the venue, right? You, you do it all for free. You just invite people. You try to make it as big as you can. And then you teach for free. You, you give them the time of their life. Like literally you come there with your whole heart and you just over deliver like crazy. And what's going to happen is people are going to be like, this girl's amazing. Like, oh my God, like, where did you come from? Why didn't I do this before? This is so, this is making me feel alive. I love this. Like, this is amazing. And then when you say, Hey, you want to join my, you know, my 12 week long course. It's pretty amazing. If you like this, it's going to be 12 times better than that. So, Hey, like, come give me your email and like, we'll, we'll talk or give me your phone number. We'll set up a conversation. However you want to do the actual, you know, the sale, so to speak, it shouldn't be a scary thing because you're just helping people. You're just giving value. You basically every day set yourself one little step instead of trying to do it all at once, chunk it, you know, and in the course of six months, it's not a big deal anymore. If you try to say, I'm going to make, you know, if I said, I'm going to make 180 videos, man, that's overwhelming. Like, whew, 180, that's a lot. But if I say I'm going to make one a day for six months, it's more doable. It's helped me already just to change the way I thought about things before great the way i thought about going after my goals before mm. to a different way of going after them now it's, it's helped a lot thank you so much of course change change my life like little you're welcome I'm, I'm really happy i could help <laughs>